Hey, it's Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're taking a look at the SMX Hydraulic Power Steering Autopilot Assembly. So this assembly is a way to easily add autopilot to your existing power steering system. So if you have a lobster boat or any kind of trap boat, run traps and you need that fast steering or you just have power steering on your boat, um, then this is an easy way to add autopilot. It's basically set up to integrate with a um, traditional autopilot system like you would see on a regular passive steering system. So instead of the 12 volt lines connecting to that motor that would drive the, the fluid either way, they connected this solenoid flow control valve which will divert the fluid either way um, to the ram to control your steering. And there's a integrated um, flow control valve here that allows us to adjust how fast the rudder is going to turn lock to lock so you can tune the system to meet the manufacturer's specifications or recommendations, usually about 10 to 15 seconds lock to lock. Um, the system is designed to just tee right in just like a, a traditional um, autopilot system. You're going to tee into the lines between the helm and the rudder and you'll tee these in and then the only additional connections you would have to make is you have to add, uh, grab the high pressure line and the return back to tank. So you have to put this in line uh, on the return back to tank. So uh, Tim's going to go over all that in the later part of the video, but uh, we have these for sale on our website um, and um, it's, it's a great little unit. It's all engineered with a nice um, mounting plate and it's all plumbed with a common input and return to tank. So it makes your life easy. JIC number eight fittings. And uh, you bolt this, bolt this up to a bulkhead or, or anywhere down in the engine room and hook up a few lines, run your autopilot 12 volt to these solenoids and you got power steering and you can tune it right to whatever you want. So Tim is gonna go over the, um, the specifics of how this connects and, and how it would integrate into a standard um, power steering system in, in most vessels. And so stay tuned. This particular product is a directional control valve, 12 volt DC, mounted to a manifold with a flow control valve and a relief valve. So basically what happens is you incorporate this into your full power steering system. This has to be pump driven off of the engine going to a orbital style unit for your helm unit. If you have an existing system on your boat, this is just a layout of your basic components. You're gonna have a reservoir for your fluid, probably ball valve on the bottom of it to shut your fluid off. Your suction line's gonna come over, go into your pump. Your pressure line's gonna come out of your pump. You wanna have a relief valve on your pump if this is a new installation. If it's an old installation, you probably already have a relief valve. Some of the hydraulic pumps have internal relief valves and flow control valves. So you kind of have to know what pump you're dealing with. You want to come out of the pressure port of the pump and you want to come into the pressure port of the helm unit. So on the helm unit, you can see there's a pressure port and a tank port and an A port and a B port. Well, actually this is labeled left and right. Okay. So you'll come out of your pressure port, you'll go into your pressure port of this, you'll come out of the tank port of this, and you'll go to the pressure port of your flow control valve. Now what we're doing is we're running this in a series connection. We're going in this one, through it, out this one, and into this. The reason I do this with this prior to this is this takes priority over the autopilot. So if you're on your autopilot and you're going across you know, some rate of speed and you look up and there's some obstruction in the way, you can basically grab the steering wheel and turn this and override this. So in an emergency situation, you can physically turn this. Now, as soon as you stop turning this, the autopilot is gonna take right back over again and try to straighten the boat back out. So we're gonna come out of the tank port of this into the pressure port of this. What happens is this flow control sets the speed of how quickly the autopilot works. So as you change the lever, you change the volume of oil going through the directional control valve. So in this position, you've got very little flow going through it. And in the number 10 position, you've got full flow going through it. 
So basically what's going to happen is your brain on your autopilot is going to say, I want, you know, 10 seconds port, 10 seconds starboard. You can time it and adjust this accordingly. We're going to come into the inlet port, which is marked inlet. We're going to come out the controlled flow into our directional control valve. We're going to exhaust some of the oil dependent upon how much you adjust your flow control. Some of it's going to come out here and some of it's going to come out here. At this point, you get the same amount of volume that you introduce it to here. So if you've got this at 50-50, you're getting half your oil here, half your oil here. This is coming out, returning back to the cooler. We're going to come out of the cooler and we're going to go into our filter at our reservoir. This line off of your relief valve, if you're using this style relief valve, would go to the secondary port on the, re on the reservoir. So if this valve opens, the flow of oil comes out here and straight into here. This valve would open if you went hard over with this helm unit. So if you go hard over with it and it physically stops, this valve is gonna open at a certain pressure that you set at and dump its fluid to here. In the normal running condition of the system, it's gonna come out through here, out into here, out here, through your cooler and back up to here. Now. We got to get this incorporated into your left and right steering lights, which are going to your ramp. So if you look at this setup, you've got two more ports that you have to deal with. And these two ports are going to tee into these two ports. So you're going to come off of here with a set of T's, come off of here into your ram. Those tees can be placed anywhere you want. You can tee it here, you can tee it here, you can tee it in, you know, a sh couple of short whips of hoses, wherever, you know, is the most convenient place to put your tees. So from your ram, teed into here and into here. Okay, we're going to take one more quick look at this graphic. So you can see here the flow of the fluid from the tank through the pump through the system when there are no inputs from either the helm or from the autopilot system. And here we're turning to port, diverting the flow through the lines to the ram. And now here you can see when this solenoid kicks on on the autopilot system, the flow will be diverted through to the ram um, through the directional control valve. Thanks for watching.